Hi guys! Dex here! Welcome back to Understanding Factoria. I think we're starting to really understand the game. I'm feeling a, not, a lot more confident. Uh, I'm starting to make... I think when you start to make your own blueprints and you start to go out to a field and be like, what do we make today? Let's make this. Uh, and then you go like, I'm gonna go use this blueprint and see what it does. Um, once you start to do that, I, I think you're encroaching upon mastery of the game. And I say encroaching because I went ahead and I went to YouTube and I typed in uh, one rocket per minute base. And I looked at that dude's base and then I felt like by the time I... Basically, by the time I research everything and launch a rocket, I will be at like the maybe 20% mark on understanding Factorio. <laughs> And it's not until you launch, like, one rocket a minute that you have really mastered the game. Because, uh, I, I, like, I don't even want to begin to describe what the, the, the fuckery that I saw in that video it was. It's like, okay, like, here's a thousand, like, furnaces all going. And here's, like, oh, here's, like, five thousand assemblers. Just, it, it's, it, um, yeah, yeah, it was, it was kind of nuts. It's a bit, a bit nuts. Anyway, uh, let's go see where this goes. So thanks for, thanks, thanks for watching little old me um, poke around at the game. I know I'm not like some. I don't have like giant, crazy, builds yet. Well, I mean, I, I kind of thought this was like maybe a giant build, but not really, huh? Um. Ta-da! I have decided that I need to supercharge my iron production, and to do that, oops, I put down two of them. I did not mean to put down two of them. Uh, and to do that, I wanted to start draining. I wanted to be, I, the main thing I wanted to do is get rid of this iron field because it's in the way, and I want to mine it all up. But the problem is. And it looks like maybe I should just extend this. Huh. How many more of these should I make? Um. So basically, if I, if I turn them up and down, all I have to do is click uh, once on them to... Uh, Rotate them. Oh, these should be up and these should be down. That's right. So yeah, if I just press R, that'll effectively turn it on. And then pressing R again will turn it off. Um, this is the way that's set up. So basically, I'm just coming in here and loading up these chests to establish... You know what? Let's do one more row. I've got plenty of resources. And that way we can just start clearing off the, the patch without waiting. Um, and the reason I'm waiting to route this into my system is I just kind of wanted to see how long it would take to run through that starting iron patch. Uh, but I have a replacement here just ready to go. Um, just to flood iron ore into my, into my, my system. Um, I think it's going to be pretty nice. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, so all these are just churning out iron as, as fast as they can. Except for maybe this one on the edge here. It's whatever. Uh, could probably eliminate that bottleneck by doing this. Uh, reduce it? No, we've 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 gotten rid of it. Yeah, okay. Um Could probably have put the entrance to the splitter over here, actually. Uh, and make that make the thing more balanced. Why don't we do that real quick?
There we go. When we're balanced now. Oh, uh, speaking of little tricks, um, let's go over here. I'm slowly building a road. Because I like the speed boost while I walk, run on it. It's pretty nice. So here, um, you guys remember the belts were actually in the stupid road. And I kept, ex I kept fiddling with this and fiddling with this and fiddling with this. And I was like, how do I route... The trick was to come here, and I'll tear these down. Alright, so I was like, okay, I need to just route this right across the road. Like that. Boom. Okay, now I just need to feed the belts up here. So I was like, alright, I come in here, and I got this, and I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do like this, and then this, and then this, 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 and then turn it sideways here, like that, and then link it up. Um, and then this... I, basically, my issue was, like, I could not work out this right here. Like, it just could not be done. I was like, how the hell do I, like, because I, like, could I maybe come in and do, like, jump it across like that, and then, and then I gotta, like, link it up here. Um, and then I was like, no, okay, maybe I just link it across, like, back like this, and then, oh, well. So, yeah, um, I knew about this glitch, but I hadn't been using it, hadn't really had a need to use it, um, that much, uh, and it just, yeah, but I finally found a really good use for it, and that is the T-junction coming off of a splitter. Uh, very compact. Um, yeah, very compact, very neat, and uh, quite the fan of it. So T-junction off of a splitter. Um, very, very compact way to fix that issue. And now my road is clear, and I don't have a bunch of crap on my road. It's great. It's amazing. Uh... And I think what I'd like to do here is keep that filter inserter. I would very much like to keep it here. Uh, I think it's time to get rid of the... this. And I think I'm going to get rid of the steam engines. You guys have served me very well for a very long time. But I don't know if I need you anymore. And you guys can just rest in a box. Not forgotten and very appreciated, but uh, you guys can go, you guys can retire. Your, your toil can cease. Kind of sad, but oh well. Uh... I get the sad music going on. Oh, poor steam engines. I don't know. I mean, they've been working like nonstop for about a year now or something. I don't know what kind of time frame we're looking at, but I imagine they deserve a break. The solar panels, uh, they're pretty, they're pretty chill. They don't really care. All they do is just kind of sit there. They don't. Yeah, they're kind of like a plant, you know. They just kind of sit there and don't really do much. Um, so these absorb any or I accidentally pick up and put it back on the line. I would like to purify my line because I ran into a situation. Uh, one of the stupid mining things hit, managed to, managed to hit stone. Um, so we're gonna have an active provider chest here and here, and you guys will filter out stone. And actually you can filter out iron and I want you to filter out stone and copper just in case any accidentally make and you know what coal as well just in case any of that accidentally makes it onto my uh, belt it should which it shouldn't but just in case because it's happened before there was there must have been a small let's copy these settings 
No. Let's copy those settings. There must have been a small... Uh, and it might help if I flip this dude around. A small patch of stone in the iron field that I didn't see because I kept finding, and it actually stalled some of my furnaces. Like they had, there was a brick in one of my furnaces. And I was like, damn it, a piece of stone got in there. Uh, so this here should keep, um, and I almost feel like putting a, one of those. to basically keep the belt clean. Um, may get rid of that later if it causes problems. I just kind of want to see if it does cause problems. And I kind of want to clean up these other factories. Like, they're just, they're here, but like, I just want to clean up my base, you know? I'm in one of those moods. Um, here's a bunch of red chip manufacturing. Uh, the bottleneck appears to be... what? Copper wire. Great. Didn't I have some copper wire manufacturing somewhere around here? Ah, yeah, right here. What happened? Oh! We're stalling on copper plate. Oh, we're stalling on copper plate. Oh, we're stalling on copper ore. Crap. Let's increase production while we can here. And these are these are done for. Can these uh can these mine? No, they're out of range, huh? Tell you what, how about we flip them? Because anywhere they can access copper, I would like them to do so. Alright, so I think that's about made the most of what I can of what's left there. Uh, that'll be depleted soon-ish. Uh, we need to go find a replacement. It's right there. Okay, that's easy. Do I dare route it in right here? Through the cop through the coal field. And uh t -t 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 blueprints. There we go. Go that way. Uh get the edge of it. I'll just completely cover the site. And what are we missing? Bunch of stuff. Alright. I'll go ahead and start making the drills in my pocket. And the other stuff can be resupplied, I think, fairly rapidly to me. If I just stand here. Nom 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 nom. 
don't want the small electric poles. I don't like those. I just don't like the small electric poles because they're. I feel like they're wood tier and they're, therefore they're crap. Man, our production has stalled, hasn't it? It really has. Usually I'd be filled up instantly. Giggity. Um, we're, we have stalled really hard on steel, and I can tell you why. It's because all our steel's in these boxes right here. Although, thankfully, these are actually almost full, and once they get full, they will stop sucking up my steel. Um... So that's good. So I guess I'll let these run until they get full, and they can they can just do that, because I'll need lots of solar panels for the rocket ship, and to keep expanding my power supply, because I never want to risk running out of power, especially without any generators to back me up. No steel at all. Jesus. Alright. Go barf out your parts back into there. And I guess I'll connect this to this. Did I run out of red belt again? Probably, yeah. On the road, back down. Whee! Supply me! With stuff, please. Holy crap, look at that. What's that? Oh, it's iron plate. Uh, yes, resupplied. Give me the red belts. Yes. Thank you. Giant eight. Oh, robots are amazing. Okay, this should satisfy our copper demand for a while, I hope. Like, seriously? If this does not, what the hell? <laughs> WTF, mates. Um, so here's what I'm thinking. Uh, this, and then out, and then this coming down. And incoming copper. Yes. Look at that. Are you guys are you guys ready to get satisfied on copper? Are you guys are you guys ready for this? Ah oh, crap. Oh but wait! I was smart! I filtered my belts. Yes! Look! Yes! Yes! I knew there was a good reason to do that! Yes! Did you see that? Guys, yes! Yes, 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 yes. Ah, crap. Alright, uh... I did, I did think it was actually a good idea to have the, the filter here slow down. I don't know if I need it for sure to be slower there, but... Good God! Look at that. Uh, I think I'll put some red belt down here. Uh, let's push this... farther down and just fill this right on up. And 
And do I need to turn on the... Do I need to turn on the iron, or is it not time for that yet? You guys are doing good! I just want to completely drain all this iron away before I moved on, but... Maybe it's... Maybe it's just time to move on anyway. Is this being mined? This right here? That is not being mined. Alright, um... Cool. Yeah, I think it might be time to turn the... Turn the iron on. Alright, you guys ready for this? I'm ready for this. Let's just go take a look at our sorry ass production right now. Yep. Yeah, it's stalled and sucks. Let's go look at what's coming out of this. Yep. Yep. Sad. So sad. Okay. I will probably need to actually make these be... Yeah, I'll leave them like that. I'll turn them on later. I'm starting to wonder if I need, like... I've reached the point of the game where I really do need multiple... Uh, assembly lines of... Um, or processing lines of uh, the furnace stuff. Are these full yet? Not yet, but... Alright, you guys ready? I'm gonna start turning them on. <laughs> Wee! Let's see if I can catch up. Where's the front wave? All right, we're we're, we're riding the front wave. All right, you ready, iron ore? I'll stand just behind you. We're going in, guys. We need iron. The big, the big, the big wave is just behind us here. All right, we've picked up some stragglers. We picked up a few reinforcements. All right, we're gonna hit the checkpoint, the security checkpoint. Okay, it looks like we're all legit iron. Moving on. Whee! Oh. Can we get all these running non-stop? That's the goal here. Come on. Pick up at the end. All of these need to always have the iron icon showing, is the goal here. Come on. Yes! But I do feel like it is okay if we make this checkpoint be red belt. And let's... There we go. Wow. Now we've definitely filled this belt up. That's a good feeling. Like it really is. So now how's our output looking? Looks a little better. But it could still be better though. Like, we could do a little better here, I feel. 
So what I'm thinking is maybe another dose of iron smelting. Uh, it looks like we've maxed out our copper again. Yeah, we easily max out our copper. Oh, blueprint. Smelt, 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 smelt. Yes. So where would this fit in? Huh. Maybe over here. I mean, there's the ore right there. And then just route the iron over. How many do you think I should have? Two? Maybe two? Uh, so if I put this here, and I put this one over here. That's just glorious. We're still missing the smelters. Ah, because we need steel. Alright. So, you got any steel for me, buddy? I'm just going to go eat the steel that's on the belt. Uh, apparently just going to eat everything that's on the belt. Oh god. That was a bad idea. Can we auto-trash the... Those? I just need one stack of those. I don't really... Or, I'll keep two stacks on me, I guess. As well as plastic. I don't feel like I need plastic on me at all, really. Um, I love the trash slots. They're sweet. this radar back in storage, as well as these extra laser turrets. Alright, cool. Um, so, we need to make a bunch of these. Alright, while that's being made, we can go ahead and route the iron into here. Uh, I think it's a very simple matter of popping it off the belt here. And, you know... Does that work? Yeah, that does work perfectly. Maybe route this one off here. I feel like I need a faster splitter doohickey. Uh, where's my... Could you please no longer make that, and would you please instead make a express splitter, please? I appreciate that, thank you. Yes. Where 
Are you over here making frames? Did you need, uh, would you like these in your inventory? And, uh, yeah, I don't know what to do with these. Those can go out. Um, I could have sworn I had an engine in my inventory. Yeah, there it is. Alright, so we're making these. And I already made... Yeah, that's going to fill up really fast. Okay, cool. Uh, boop, boop. That's... That's better, I think. It looks better, at least. Well, at least there won't be a bottleneck, I don't think. These should be mostly fully supplied, I think. Damn steel! Oh well, in the meantime, uh, I need to route the iron back into my base. And... The iron output is right there. Hmm. I feel like this should be moved down to give me more room to work with stuff. What do you guys think? Um this needs to be removed, replaced with that, and then this here can be moved away. Um, so this is the iron for the iron smelting. And then I can just join this up down here. Uh, huh. Feels a bit hoopty. I'm doing something hoopty. What am I doing? I am routing. I'm currently routing iron through there. There we go. All right, and then the outputted iron. Just has to go down here. No, other way. Uh, these don't need to be out so far at all. Um, these could probably just stop right here. Turn this way. And just cruise on back down. Hop over, make the jump. There we go. Uh, Dear Iron Production Line, you are about to get hit with a massive influx of iron. Enjoy. What's going on here? Oh, they're attacking up there again, huh? What happens if I do this? Does that help at all? Mm, 
not sure if helping. Not not helping at all. No. Nope. Uh. I'll just leave that going in there for now. Um. It needs to go in the other side as well. Okay. Uh. Clear all this out. Let's redo this. So that's the source of iron coming in. Um. So we've got two sources of iron, uh, two streams, if you will. Try not to cross them. So we could put them here. Hey, we could even do this. Whoosh! Okay, yeah, uh, that'll do. Um, and then it's just a simple matter of rerouting... Uh, make the jump across here. Now we just need to send iron up there so that my steel smelting can have some. And for that, for my next trick, uh, I think it's a simple matter of catching the iron here and then routing it back up here. Does that work? Yeah, I think it's instead of trying to fix something, it's better to just tear it down and rebuild it and get your get your stuff sorted out that way. And it appears that I have full throughput now. Or at least way more than I used to. Oops. Gotta be honest, my urge to just move to a completely beltless factory system using the logistics is, uh, is rising. There we go, the copper wire is starting to trickle out now. Again. Um, looks like there's a bottleneck here. Uh, if I upgrade this, that fixes it. Oh man, look at that iron. Look at that copper getting pumped in there. Whee! Cool. Uh, lots of activity. How's the steel output now? Is it fine? Uh, not really. Um, maybe. No, I mean they're. Uh, I guess it's okay. It's fine as in, like, I've got a full rack of, uh... I've got a full yellow belt worth of steel being made, I think. Right? Or is, no, is that just iron? Mm. Oh, shit, this isn't even done yet. I'm a doofus. I like how it's not even done yet, though, but it radically increased my, uh... Iron capacity. That was pretty cool. I 
I don't really know why I maintain this wall here inside. I guess it's because if one of these other defensive defenses fails and they start coming in here, I've got this to fall back on. And it's the outline of the original base, which is kind of nice to maintain. Anyway, 40-minute uh, mark. Need to sign off. Getting too long. Uh, I'll just keep make, making... I just got to wait for steel, right? I'm just going to stand here and soak up the steel for myself. Uh, but anyway, uh, probably put a... Maybe maybe I should use like a one of these to do that job for me and not have to do it myself. You know, the whole idea of having a factory. Uh, and then use a normie chest. Normies, get out of my thread. Whee! There we go. Alright, so I'll let that charge up and uh, generate enough steel to build my furnaces. Uh, anyway, I'll see you guys next episode. Until then, as always... Take it easy.